Hey, how's it going, people? Today, uh, I wanted to share with you a quick tutorial on how to do bent plywood on SolidWorks. I saw a tutorial on Instagram, uh, and uh, it was on Rhino. And a lot of us don't really use Rhino or uh, the, those surfacing programs. Uh, so I just decided to, to, to make a really quick tutorial on, on SolidWorks on how to do uh, bent plywood. Um, Okay, so there are multiple things that you can do, obviously, in SOLIDWORKS, your, uh, um, your hand is pretty open. Um, so this was the, the, the first one that I did a few months ago, maybe last year or something. As you can see, it's just um, a simple extrude that I did. Um, it, it's really nothing complicated, no uh, complicated surfacing or anything. Um, so. If you have a 3D model like that, which you want it to appear as uh, a plywood on, on Keyshot, then uh, then you can just go to your sketch, um, uh, offset your main sketch or something, and then just uh, keep doing that, and then use the same sketch to split the model and uh, change the color of each body. So these are these are all uh, individual different bodies. So that's one way you can do it. That's uh, the easiest way, but it cannot be used, um, say, for something like uh, like this uh, semi-complicated surface. So what you want to do for this one, or what I did, uh, was that uh, first I, I made the surface, and then I uh, I offset it to my my main surface. Say this is a a piece of wood. It, it's a it can be anything. It's say it's a bar stool seed plate. Uh, so I did offset the uh, the main surface and then I extended uh, the edges, and uh, I thickened my my main my main surface. Um, I used a fillet. That's fine. And then I mirrored both of them. Uh, so now we have this big surface here uh, that matches uh, perfectly. Your uh, your solid body and uh, another fillet, and then what you want to do, you want to offset the surface that you have. So I did uh, how many did I do? Like seven, I six. I did six uh, plus one, so seven. And then I use those um, surfaces. If I sh if I just turn them on, uh, you see it, uh, like how many there are. And then I use those surfaces to split my uh, my main body, and that's what I was left for, or left there. Um, and then after you did that, you have to you have to change the color. You have to change the appearance for that. You just uh, uh, you just right click on top of uh, your surface, your whatever. These are all separate bodies. And then you go to appearance. Um, since they're all separate bodies, you can just change the whole appearance of the body. And then, uh, like yellow, or whatever. And then you can just click, uh, click on them one by one um, to apply the appearance. It is super easy, uh, like that. Uh, and then you wanna export it or import it to Keyshot. All right. After you import it into Keyshot, um, uh, this is these are just two different examples that I wanted to show you because there is a plywood uh, material in the cloud library. Um, so you bring it to Keyshot. As you can see, we have um, different colors. Uh, I think my laptop is getting ready to, to take call. Um, uh, so so let's, let's just start with the material uh, that the, the Keyshot already has. Uh, so you just go to the cloud library and uh, you download um, I'm not sure what it's exactly called, but you just look up plywood. And um, I have these two, maybe there are more. Uh, I haven't checked recently. But uh, say Baltic Birch plywood. So this is uh, what it gives you. And uh, it looks pretty nice, right? So you double click on it. Um, there are some ways that you can do this. Uh, so if, 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 if your 3D model was just uh, a flat extrusion, uh, I don't know, something like this, then you didn't have to do all that work in SOLIDWORKS really. Uh, you could just uh, apply this, this material on your model 
or on this on this uh, side of your model, and then um, you go to this uh, map, and then you play with it until you get it right. So as you can see, the mapping type is box map. Um, that means there's a box. Uh, just imagine a box around your model, and that box has the map or the material on top of it, and that is what's uh, applying the material on, uh, around your um, around your model. So you want to change that to UV coordinates or UV um, because we have these like these uh, you know these uh, fillets here. Um, but for this one, you see how it's messing it up. Uh, you can you, what you can do you can just like play with it until you get it right. But that's gonna take a while. Um, you can you know change the angle, um, say minus 25 but then again as you can see it's like uh, it's messed up here what you can do you can uh, go back to SOLIDWORKS and then you can change the color of these filleted areas um, so you have two different colors so you apply this material on top of the uh, the different colors and then you adjust them you you, you play with them until um, you get them seamless you know but that's just too much work. So um, for for this kind of 3D models, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, instead, um, we're just gonna stick with the other way. Uh, I'm just gonna turn off that one. Um, so as you can see, we have different solid bodies, right? And um, we wanted to make it uh, look like something like this. I mean, it really depends on you on, on uh, what your model is. So we're just gonna um, do a, a a similar shape. Uh, let's do ash, okay. So as you can see, it was applied to um, all the solid bodies that was red. Um, so what you can do, you can just um, if you want them to. You see how it's like identical here. If you want them to look different. Um, you just right click on top of them and then you just unlink, unlink the material you adjust it if you want to um, just to make it, I don't know, look uh, a little bit random uh, well it's not doing anything is it? yeah alright uh, so so you just play with it um, until you you get your um, final result and then um, so it's just like a different layers right now and then for the other layer or for the other bodies uh, the solid bodies we want to see it's like kind of darker so we can go with the it's the oak no it's too much um, Yeah, something like that, I suppose. Um, so, um, yeah, you can you can just play with all these uh, settings, and it's not doing anything. Um, oh, it's this one. Jeez. Uh, so you can just uh, play with all, all the settings and uh, let's see what it would look like. Nope. Uh, change the brightness to let's say 0.75 and contrast to let's say 0.75 again. Okay, it's getting there. Uh, this is good, I think. Um, 0.75. Let's do four. So as you can see, we unlinked uh, this material here. So if you if you if you change um, the main appearance, then you have to change each of them accordingly. Um, so this was uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.75, I think, um, and then we can just change. Uh, the scale here to make it look a little bit random and it started raining that's 
basically to end like the ring. So you keep playing with the color, uh, you, clip, you, you keep playing with the material um, settings until you get your desired um, plywood. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish rendering this and um, I'll show it to you at the end of this video. But that's basically what you want to do. Uh, it really depends on what kind of plywood you want to do, depends on uh, how thick your plywood is, uh, or if it's, if it's bent plywood. Um, like the uh, like the Ames chair, or if it's just flat, um, if it's um, the comp the surfaces are complicated, or if they're just you know just just bent. Um, yeah, so I, I really hope that um, this video gave you an idea on what to do in Keyshot and what to do um, in SolidWorks to get the uh, the plywood effect. Um, so if you learned anything, please uh, subscribe and uh, like this video. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Uh, I will answer them as soon as possible. And uh, that's that for this tutorial. Yeah. Thank you and have a good day.